Happy Mother's Day. Uh, <laughs> my phone was uh, doing funny things, so hopefully everyone can see me. I can't see myself. It's okay. Alright, so I'm going to try maybe this way. Everything's fine. Alright, so welcome. Uh, let's begin our breathing. To, in order to do that, let's get into our seven point fire china posture. Cross legs. Got so many things here. Protect our law energy. Make the eagle wings. Our spine like a stack of golden coins. Our neck like a swan, so tuck your chin in. And the tongue to the roof of your palate and your eyes looking past your nose. And from here, visualize our twofold emptiness. Visualize your body as an empty shell, so you're looking at yourself in the mirror here. And there's three queen channels inside your body. The central channel is blue in color, the left and right channel is um, white and red respectively. Okay, so and ask, do we have to visualize? Of course, uh, it would be nice to visualize if you are not a visual person, you can just feel the channels. It also helps helps with your brain, give some, your brain some exercise. So you have three channels, take a deep breath in, and exhale completely. Bring your left hand to your left nostril, and inhale rainbow light. Cleaning the right channel, hold your breath, visualize it go to the other side of the channel, and exhale red smoke. Inhale, rainbow light, cleaning the left channel now. Visualize it going down the left channel. Hold the breath as it goes across to the right channel, going up. And exhale, white smoke. Inhale, rainbow light, cleaning all three channels. Visualize it crisscross as you hold your breath, going up the channels. And exhale, blue smoke. So let's balance the elements, left hand to left nostril. Inhale, rainbow light, balancing the fire element on the right side. Hold the breath, balancing the fire. Exhale, red smoke. Inhale, rainbow light. Now balancing the water and earth elements related to the left side. Hold the breath. And exhale, water and earth elements, balancing them. Inhale, rainbow light. Now we balance the wind element in the central channel. And exhale, blue smoke. We can balance the humor, so inhale. So on the right side, it's the bio humor. Hold the breath and balancing the bile humor in our bodies. bodies. Exhale. Inhale, rainbow light. The left side is related to the phlegm humor. Remember the water and earth creates the phlegm. Hold the breath. And exhale, balancing phlegm. Now the central channel, inhale, is connected to the wind humor. Hold the breath, cleaning and balancing the wind humor. And exhale. Now we will clean the body, speech, and mind. So if you're a visual person, you can visualize the OM as a white OM and it lives in the crown. The A ah as a red A. Ah and lifts in the throat chakra and the home as a blue home and lives in the heart. So I don't know if you can see it. Yes, on my home. Maybe not. 
wearing out. So as I chant Om, you're going to breathe in white light. As I chant Ah, uh, you're going to transform that white light into red light and expand it throughout your whole body. And as I say Hom, you're going to breathe out blue light. Okay, so Om white, Ah, uh, expand red, and Hom, exhale blue. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhaling the Om. Om. Ah. Om. Om. Ah. So now we will do the partial vas breathing. Let's see, where is it? Partial vas breathing. So here, you can picture yourself uh, where the four channels connect, four fingers below your navel, you see? You visualize the vas there. So you inhale into your vas and hold your breath. You can do a little swallow to help push the, the pressure and then lift up through a perineum to create the low pressure ball. So we've done a minute yesterday. I think we did it four times. So I, I heard some people were able to do a minute. That's awesome. So let's continue and build on that, okay? So I'm gonna get into there. So again, to the seven point bar China posture. Inhale to hold the vase breath. Okay, reset, inhale again.
again. Inhale. How's everyone? Hope you're okay. One more time. Inhale. Okay, how is that? <laughs> Maybe a little heat? Maybe a bliss? Dr. Nita says, where's bliss? There's heat, and where's heat? There's bliss. And that we're born of bliss, we live the bliss, and we die of bliss. <laughs> so, today I have for us, um, actually, eight exercises. I think four of them we've done already. But they're all related to the uh, kidneys and, and the legs. So um, any uh, discomfort with the, your back, your legs, so just the lower parts, because uh, we did the upper part yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me here. So the first one um, is the Tibetan Yejong exercise number one. We've done this before. It's massaging the ears. You see the ears is the flower of the kidney. I mean, yes, it's the flower of the kidneys. So the kidneys is the solid organ and then the urinary bladder. Okay, and so this exercise pacifies the wind in the muscles and skin complexion. It balances the kidneys, gives stability to the spine, and strengthens the urinary bladder and reproductive organs, and balances the phlegm humor. So, let's see, in Dr. Ida's book, did I do this right? Yes. So in his book, the kidneys are affected by water, both internally and externally, therefore, Diseases in the urinary tract as well as degenerative joint disease also have a cold nature uh, and they get worse in the winter, especially if we consume foods and drinks that have cold nature, such as raw vegetables, barley, and wheat flour. And also kidneys, is, I heard it helps us uh, stand. So if, if you have weak kidneys, it's hard for you to stand up straight and, and, and you know, walk. So we'll be exercising our kidneys and also in Dr. Nita's book here you can see the kidneys related I mean sorry the ears is related to all your organs so that our ears the microcosm of the ears is a macrocosm of our whole system okay so that's why we're doing this exercise so we're gonna get into the posture keep our head straight and we're gonna massage the ears so remember you see the ears I know I'm like tiny ears but here is the tragus. This is good for memory, so you want to get there if you massage that area. If you have, if you want to have good memory, you can also fold the ears like so, and get the whole ear. Okay.
So inhale, we're going to um, massage the right side seven times, flick seven times, intend the energy to flick away, come back and shoot the breath. And then we do this for a set of three. Inhale to hold the breath. Again. And one more time. Okay, so that's Nia number one. So next we go on to uh, Nia number 13, we also done before. And so it is, helps with the problems in the legs. Where is it? 13, yes. Problems in um, the legs, stomach, and increased digestion, unblock the constipation, builds up energy, increased metabolic fire, and it's excellent for back aches. So when we're talking about constipation, we're talking about the descending wind, and that is located in our root. And so why is like constipation not good? According to our, this is the Tibetan Tree of Health. I try to print it, but the, the, the reading is still not very good. So this C, the side on the health is very small. And then the so sickness is very big. So you want to be on the on the healthy side, and all it takes is that our winds are, um, our humors are balanced. You see, this, these are the five winds that we did we did when we did the seven point biochina posture. We control the five winds, and then of course there's the five uh, bile and then five phlegm, the seven constituents that we talked about yesterday. So when you eat your food, it it creates you know blood and bone marrow and goes down to. Uh, creating your reproductive fluids, your essence. And up here are the excretions. So in order to be healthy, you have to be able to poo, you have to be able to pee, and you have to be able to sweat. So once you're all that, then you create two flowers, which is long life, and um, this is long life and happiness, and then you get the three fruits of Dharma and so forth. And that is in Dr. Neva's book somewhere. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's in it's in this book. So that's why we do the exercise. I'm just trying to find it here. Oh, it's Got too many pages for you. Yeah, it's good health and long life. So this is the same thing. So how do we do this? We're gonna go into the posture. You can put your hands here, or you can put your hands here. So it doesn't. You, you have a choice. So we want to hold our breaths and then really, really move because that moves the, uh, the lumbar spine. You see how we're moving and it also affects your legs and stomach. So really to move into that. So we're going to do seven times one way, seven times the other way. You can see maybe this way is more comfortable for you, but the whole point is really, really stretching it out and it's, it's great. <laughs> I like it. So, I think I got that, yes. So, inhale to hold the breath. Inhale again. If you can't hold your breath, you can do a little faster. 
One more time. How's that feel? My back feels good. Uh, so, this is actually one of the exercises I think in the when Dr. Nita was teaching Zalong. It's to open up your navel. I just, I'm just trying to figure, cause remember if I'm. Oh boy. Did I get it? Oh yeah. You see, we have shop, you know, we have different. Um, these are the flowers or the, what do you call it? The, the chakras. And you can see in the navel, there's 64 petals, right? So the crown chakra is 32, then 16 uh, in your throat chakra, then 8 in your heart chakra. So 64 petals in your navel chakra, and then 32 petals in your root chakra. So it's very, very important to open up your navel because it's where your creativity is and so forth. And so one of the things that um, I think, in, yeah, Dr. Nita is like, you can do... He made us do a hundred one way and a hundred the other way, but without holding our breath. So if you wanted just to, even just to open up your navel, you can just, I guess, type in, <laughs> just move your navel. <laughs> okay, so just a, just a tip. So the next one I have for you is uh, number 16. It's a new one that we haven't done yet. And it's called Shake, Shake the Heart. And what this does, it's good for your uh, constipation, difficult urina urination, releases tension in the internal organs. So we want to keep that tree healthy. <laughs> so we have to make sure everything, the pipes are working. Okay, so we're going to hold our breaths and, and basically imagine yourself like, a, you know, those birds when they take a shower, they, they shake themselves up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to shake, holding our breaths up and down shaking all the internal organs so seven times and on the seventh time you're gonna do the ha mantra ha! <laughs> just like the tiger vomiting okay and then we do this three times so inhale to hold the breath Inhale again. Okay, one more time. Inhale. He said something about a bat. Uh, let me just check. So number it was it's number sixteen. Uh, sixteen, sixteen. Yes. So uh, when it says on the last one, rock forward, lift the butt, buttocks, and drop down while exhaling strongly. So after the, you can just 
So you, so you kind of do a little bounce and you land on your, I guess, yeah. It's very good for, um, it's very good for uh, the kidneys, emotional stuff. Because uh, I'll show you, I'll show you. And here, you see this in Dr. Nita's point books? These are the kidney points. So if you notice, it's all, all these points on the back. Okay? And then also here, we just did the sits, like when we do the little bep, you get, you're getting the kidney benefits. And you still also see those are also kidney points, which we'll be doing soon. And uh, just to compare, let's see if you can find it. Yeah. You see how it's comparatively, the, the kidney has many more points than the other points in the body. So it's very important. <laughs> so next one I have for you is number 17. We also haven't done this one. Uh, it's it's uh, 17. It's good for problems in the frontanel. I believe frontanel is like when your baby got those little, your, your, your skull is still soft, so it's, it's the sutures in your brain. Uh, and it's also good to unblock, unblock the descending wind and regulates the lower excretions. Okay, so how do you do that? Oh my goodness. Uh, in his book, if you look at number 17, you can see there's different options. There's so many different options. And at the same time, when, when I was learning it from Dr. Nita, he showed me also different ones that's not here. So I'll show you all of them, and you just pick whatever is comfortable. You can try them all. Maybe, like, not now, but later. Okay, so the... Um, how to do this exercise? You prepare. So there's one, two, three. Option one, two, three. Okay. So the first option, you hold and you open. So that's your opening. So if you if you're if you're in a wheelchair, you can maybe open or whatever. Imagine that you're doing it. Um, you, you can do it seated. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And then just open it up. So the one that Dr. Nita showed me is this one here. You just push down and bring back up. So that's not in the book, but you can. This is totally an option you can do. Uh, the other one that he see, shows is a cross. So you cross leg and you open up. It's a cross. You can alternate between the two. Okay. And then the modification, if you want to lie down, you just cross and open. Okay, and then I think the one, the one I learned is I grab to the toes and I actually just open this way. <laughs> this, this is how I learned it. So in, in Dr. Nito's uh, Nia Jung book, three options. You can pick any three and we'll do them together. Okay, so we'll do it seven times each for three. Inhale. I feel like a cheerleader here. <laughs> Sorry. And breathe out through your nose to 30%. Inhale again. And one more time. <laughs> It's funny, yeah. So, should I show you what the other ones look like? I think it's okay. Like, yeah, just do that. That's one. That's two. And then the third one on your back. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so that's number 17. So next one I have for you, number 18. We've done this one before. is balancing the uh, 
descending wind again, so it's good for your stomach, good for stomach cramps, increased uh, metabolic heat balances, the descending wind stimulates the phlegm humor. Remember, phlegm is water and earth. And good for constipation, menstruation problems for women, uh, that's, I guess, ovarian cysts, prostate for men, and incontinence. So this is very good, because I think, because you're working with the pelvic floor, and uh, yeah, a lot. Of <laughs> so how do you do this exercise? You're going to contract your anus, okay? This is good, because if, if there's no uh, strength in the descending wind, then everything falls down, and then you have problem with, like, things hanging. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hold our breath and going to contract your anus, okay? You're going to squeeze and lift up. Uh, let's do this in one breath 21 times, okay? So squeeze 21 times. Inhale. How's that? <laughs> I did it a little quick. So the next option for this same exercise is instead we're gonna put our hands and we're gonna bounce up and down. Okay? So that's another, it's like those mini bets. So if, if, if you want, you can stay and do the first exercise if that's easier for you. But those of you who want to try this way, we'll do that. In one breath, 21 times. Inhale. And one more time. Okay, so that's exercise number 18. And moving on. We got three more to go. So the next one I have here is um, number 19. So that's massaging the ankles. So ankles, uh, it helps to cure back aches and pains. It helps the kidneys uh, balance the menses, so menstrual uh, for women, and joint pain. So let's see what I have here. Go 84. If you look at Dr. Nita's book, just, just check, you know, it's, it's like, why does it work, 84? Yeah, you see, you see points here on the legs? So we just, just take a look where the, where the cap, where the ankles are, we got point number seven, it says here, you know, for valgal veins, toxic blood, uh, gynecological tumors, painful menstruation, menstruation problems, white discharge. So for men, it would be like prostate too, like so it's all like uh, reproductive uh, issues because the kidneys were related to reproductive organs. So, and then uh, point number eight is also on the ankles. It's good for kidney trauma damage, lower back, sciatica, uh, calf cramp pain, and testicle problems. Yeah, okay, <laughs> urinary tract infection with blood or pus. So yeah, this book is very useful to, if you want to learn more why we do certain things. So this is why we massage our ankles. So we're going to hold our breath, bring our ankles here because it's just more comfortable. We're going to rub and give heat first. So make sure you get the whole ankle, so the different parts to, to it, and then massage. So we massage for seven counts and then tap. Okay, and make it back, and exhale through the nose. Got it? Inhale to hold the breath.
again. And one more time. Okay, so that was number 19. Moving on. Number 20, I think we did 20 before, and that's massaging the calves. So the calves pacifies the wind. Remember, the center of the calf is, uh, Dr. Nguyen calls it the fear points. It might be tender on some people, but also it's also one of the law points in the, when we did the law massage. Uh, the, the, your life force energy likes to stay there for a day. And it balances the kidneys, opens the hearts, releases fear, and therefore it's good for bad dreams and it's good for panic attacks. So I do have you 83. So I'd like to look at it's 83 here. Yeah, so 83 Dr. Nita's point book. We see that in point number two, so around the, the, the calves, there's something that it's good for stiffness in back, if you have back paralysis, uh, pain, pain for uh, sacrum. So this, this, this is very good to do. And yeah, sacrum. This is sacral nerve, Dr. Nita says, related to orgasm. So I guess this is good. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So we're going to inhale, hold your breath, and bring it out so it's comfortable and massage so you give heat and then massage so seven counts and then tap okay so we do that three times inhale to hold the breath One more time. Okay, so that is number 20 and the last one is 21, yay. So 21 is now we're moving to the thighs. So strongly massage the thighs. And this is good for pacifying blood problems. Uh, it pacifies hot nature diseases, balances and spiles, stimulates circulation, strengthens the immune system, and protects the body. So when you're rubbing here, do I have something? You're, you're creating the blood circulation, and with the blood circulation, increase the immune, the immune system. But also, you know, the lymphatic nodes are here too, right? So it's important to get that circulating because the lymphatic system um, doesn't have a pump. So we need to help it. That's why walking is one of the best medicines in Tibetan medicine, or the best exercise actually. So 117 I have here, 117, yeah. Yeah, see the points here on the, on the end, the thigh, so that's good for Leg paralysis, and same thing around the same part. There's two, there's one the Tantra and one the King's Treaty. And that one is for back pain and pain in the lower legs. 
Okay, so we are going to inhale. We can massage right there if you want, or you, you can bring your legs over and do it this way. So up to you, whatever is easy for you. And we're going to do seven times three. Inhale. Okay, I think we did it. Just wanna check. Okay, we're good. So these are one, two, three. So we did eight Nyanjang exercises, all related to uh, the lower body and helping with the excretions, the descending wind, and back aches, and so forth. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Toronto time. Thank you for joining me. Happy Mother's Day. Happy uh, day to all mothers. Thank you. And uh, any comments, questions, uh, put in the comments and I'll reply tomorrow or whenever. Okay, take care.